Good day, folks. Just a little update on things. As I said, a bit of pause right now on the practical applications and experimentations due to um, lack of funds and devices. But thanks to your help and support, that's soon going to be solved. But in the meantime, I still enjoy researching and a little side project of mine. I'm sure you've known or I've said before that I follow Tom Bearden as well, especially the early 90s stuff where he talked about scalar waves, the torsion fields, and the uh, spin and the gravity waves and uh, I've mentioned things like this before in the past and even offered some basic communication systems such as a basic schematic of the Bedini one wire system using similar methods of biasing a DC field but anyways um, taking it another step here I wanted to um, just I said it was started out it was just a plot and then it just started making sense you know what everything that Tom Bearden has said and everything I found out over the years and just trying to put one piece together and it's ridiculously simple and stupid once I have figured it out and there's probably something wrong with this because um, it's so ridiculous it almost can't be yet there's driving you know if you look at the quantum part of it and all the theory and the Tesla it's it's very <clears throat> there's a foundation here so let me explain how this would work okay we would use two Tesla coils basically side by side or opposite to each other mirrored and in the middle we would have a big round core with a coil this would be our modulation coil what we want to do is modulate this coil at very high um, current and what that does is it creates basically a counter field which interacts with the so-called gravity waves. We send back the force so that it doesn't complete the loop and it's that extra energy that comes out as a gravity wave which we could in theory observe as a truss above you know, the central point of the field as I've described in the uh, drawing. Now, those who are interested in anti-gravity, this is probably the most simple way of doing it, and I really want to experiment with this, but my priority is in the alternate energy, and right now I'm working with the quantum energy generator, so those are my priorities, but needless to say, on the side, I'd like to start working with scalar experiments as well. So if I do end up with a few dollars in the next months or so, I will be ordering primary Tesla, uh, secondary Tesla coils, identical, and I will be experimenting and showing you the progress of this on the side as well. And if you understand what this means, this could also be a communication system where we're modulating the actual gravity wave. So all you would have to do basically is um, the coil, the capacitor of the Tesla coils would go up as an antenna, instead of being a, a spare, it would be a plate. And the way the scalar works is it would be like a cannon, and that's how we point the um, gravity field in the direction where we'd want the communications. Now, on, obviously, you could reverse that, and I think we could be interested, especially as ham operators, those that are anyways, are just enthusiastic with listening to radio. If we really want to know if in secret military or other countries or private labs are experimenting with this sort of communications, according to this diagram, it would be pretty simple to adapt it as a receiver system. All you would have to do is figure out a, a basic filtering for the uh, Tesla coil frequency and it's at the primaries of the Tesla coil which should be able to extract the modulated information. So if you'd like to experiment to see if the Russians are talking with the war in Ukraine with gravity waves, this would be a good experiment to validate if such things is really um, happening. And I will definitely be looking into that. And if you understand, this could very well be an alternative way of getting free energy if you follow the scalar theories of Tom Bearden essentially what he gets at at the end is to be a transmitter is also to be a receiver so what I'm getting at is we could look at it this way where you know it's the same laws where energy can be created or destroyed we can only manipulate it transduce it change it so in this effect what we're doing is like taking a water balloon and squeezing it at a certain area you see it gets really smaller where we squeeze it would be the same uh, equivalent of getting our zero fields right we're nulling out the effect right there but the big bubble shows up at the top of it where all of that essentially energy pops out so that energy comes out somewhere and in our case here would 
respond as truss against the mass and the mass would essentially be the load of this kind of power so we wouldn't you know kill ourselves with feedback now the issue is if you're not going to have a mass against this field the energy folks has to go somewhere so what happens it blows up your inputs so the way to solve that is to simply rectify with the help of filtering the extra energy that comes back at the inputs and folks this could be another source of tap for free energy it's not free in the sense as it comes out of nowhere but when we're manipulating gravity or in other words we're burdening space-time in exchange for energy and if you follow all of the ideas and you follow Tesla and you know when he thought he was nuts with talking to people from Mars if you want to believe in that sort of thing or maybe it wasn't Mars but some other like, maybe experimenting at that time with the scalar waves essentially this is probably how Tesla did it with his Tesla coils because this is to me the simplest you know without getting too complicated with making special canceling windings and tuning odd shaped coils I'm very sure you could just do two regular Tesla coils like this just phased at 180 degrees the Tesla coils will take care of creating the high potential you need and that it, it's it's already there for us folks so just use what's already there and resurface it to something else and not use it and usage and that's the whole idea with science folks too a good part of it is going back to the basics and seeing what we left off and if we could enhance on it use the Tesla coils for something else instead of just pretty sparks we already know the outcome right isn't that the definition of insanity when you repeat the experiment you know knowing what the outcome is thinking there's going to be a different outcome we already know well established what a Tesla coil does when you break the circuit you get massive spark outputs now instead of wasting your power and money doing that for a show why not we actually take the applications and use it for something that's where I'm at my angle anyways so again I just want to share it with you and I'm telling you this feels ridiculous how it could be simple with that said it could be very dangerous um, the more of gravity energy the more localized the effects become naturally so um, you wouldn't really want you know for example if <laughs> this is half a joke but your dead grandma appearing all of a sudden in the middle of your experiments because you're messing with the fabric of space-time itself this is all supported in quantum physics and it gets pretty scary down the line if you look at all the considerations so the goal is to modulate with the highest um, current you can tolerate but the more power is going to create unknown biological near effects your cuckoo clocks like Tom Bearden said might go nuts in the room um, your toaster might start going off on its own um, it's just I don't even know what all the implications are so the much more why I want to experiment with this so anyways um, my, my bump right now is what's the best way of um, controlling this at 400 Hertz and uh, using that phase variant of 180 degrees what would be the best controller setup for that and that's pretty well all there is to it folks so enjoy and let, thank you for supporting me